All right, Nikarak is in the lobby. Reina is in the lobby. We're gonna play a TVZ on Heartlet. That's going to be our opening battleground. I assume that this was the Nikarak pick, and then Reina can have his map pick afterwards. I hope I'm doing well. I'm doing great, mate. I almost got done dirty by some 50-something-year-old uh, woman on a local padel club, tennis club. We had a match scheduled last weekend. They couldn't make it, so they cancelled it. Then it was rescheduled automatically to next Sunday. But then they can't make it either because they're on a holiday. And then they just submitted the results saying that they won. And we're like, what the hell? It's my first ranked match. And I was like, uh-uh. And they're like, all right, uh, what about 5 p.m. on the Wednesday? Does that work? I was like, yeah, that works. I'm coming in with fire, mate. I'm going to try to dominate. She is actually good. I think I'm better. What's up? Some nice ZV mech on Ratiset. I don't think Nikorakt is uh, much of a mech boy. He's a bio boy at heart. He likes to attack, he likes to be aggressive. I don't think I... Uh, I don't really see him play mech here. Happy EPT day, Ruddy. Sunny Monday, mate. It was funny, when I was in Vegas, I heard this uh, Manic Monday song twice in two different casinos. It's almost like they shared a playlist. Because I hadn't heard that song in forever. And then I heard it at 1 p.m. in the Bellagio, and I heard it at 4 p.m. in the Venetian. I'm like, what? And it wasn't even Monday. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. I mean, they are uh, competing as well. They're not even of the same group, so... Maybe it's just a free coincidence. That's why I put it in my uh, stream title today. Because I was listening to it. I love that song. It's a classic. Let's do it. What is this, round of 16? Or is it quarterfinals? It must be round of 16, right? Don't think we're quite at the quarterfinals yet. So yeah, this is round of sixteen. The winner of this will play against either Cristiano or Future. Hey, Future two zero baby marine. See, he is good. You can do the American Terrence dirty. Epic lost to Showtime, but there's no shame in that. Bonan took a map of Jarrod. Uh Hydra lost to Wayne. That's okay. Wayne is very good. Ashbringer having a bit of a run, but don't think he really played anyone. How did the games go, by the way, Bully, against uh, Foxy? You didn't get him, mate. The Roddy blueprint was not good enough. Let's get it on. Round one, fight. Here we go. Uh, round of 16, best of three, TVZ. The last match was very even. This one, obviously, we have an overwhelming favorite. In the top left side, we are looking at the main base of our underdog, Platinum, Heroes, and Nicaragua. Yeah, it seems that Twitch is having some issues again, Bully. They like to have issues on Monday. Because I keep seeing that clock wheel on my chat as well. And then it's just refreshing. And then it says, you're connected now. But obviously, if everything runs smoothly, that shouldn't happen. Bottom right side of Heartland, we are looking at the main base of the Italian Stallion. He is streaming. You guys can watch his first person view over at twitch.tv slash Red Bull or RB underscore Rainer. I believe that is still the name of his channel. Now I have to double check it because I don't want to spread the wrong information. I think it is RB underscore Rainer. That is what it is. If you guys want to watch this first person view, you can do it over there. Of course, do not spoil any results, please, because I am forced to stream with a two minute delay. Players do not need to have a delay, but the rules are for me to have two minutes. So I'm sticking by those rules. Ah, this morning, Pam Pam. Thank you for noticing. Am I going to be casting Dallas Roddy, thinking about getting tickets? I have not been reached out yet uh, when it comes to Dallas, but I will be at Dallas. I've already spoken to Basilisk about it, and even if ESL does not invite me to cast the DreamHack... Well, it's not DreamHack, right? Well, it's DreamHack, but it's not DreamHack. The ESL Spring Masters, so that's the official name of the tournament, at Dallas, at DreamHack Dallas. If ESL does not invite me to cast, I will still be there just to make some content for Basilisk, cover the Basilisk boys. Uh, but obviously, if ESL does invite me to cast, then I will be there casting. I'm also going to be in Texas either a little bit earlier or a bit later. And I'm going to hang out with the coolest American caster that I have on this channel, a Spanish goat. He was at the uh, Home Story Cup as well. Just kidding, Bully. I love you too. You know that. Uh, but he reached out to me a while ago and he said hey if you're ever in texas and you want to spend a couple days you're always welcome at my place and i do want to spend a couple days in texas because i think texas is fucking cool so we're gonna do that uh, it's gonna be uh 
I don't know, maybe all together, like 10, 11, 12 days in uh, Texas. It's going to be very cool. Play some poker, drink some beer, eat some barbecue, cast some StarCraft, or watch my best of these boys perform. We'll be there. I'm looking forward to it. Did I mostly play poker in Vegas? No. Because uh, Vicky does not really play poker. and I'm not going to go to Vegas and then play poker all the time by myself. But that's why I want to go to the Lodge Poker Club in Texas. Because then I can just sit there for a and play poker. And I'll be very happy. I did play some. Not much, but some. Sometimes late at night. After we had a fun day of other activities. Played a little with Todd. Mm. Last week it was indeed the Rainer versus Max Pax in the semi-finals and then the Rainer versus Clem in the finals. I don't know if the bracket would allow for that again. I didn't really look at it. But I think Showtime is at the top side, which probably means Max Pax is at the bottom side. So yeah, we could have a repeat. Mm. Thank you, SR Fireball and Business Socks for the 11 and 50 months respectively. I appreciate it, guys. Lair on the way for Rainer. Everything looking good. Rainer obviously mechanically always uh, sound solid as a rock. We're not going to see a lot of slip-ups. Nikorok is a very good Reaper player. But Rainer did not give him any freebies. Exactly, Mandnox. But I think ESL will say, well, not everybody streams. So it doesn't matter. If you are a streamer like Rainer. Or if you want to stream like Rainer. Then you take that risk, and that's not on ESL. But if uh, Rainer was not streaming, and I would be covering these games without any delay, and then there would be cheating, then ESL could be to blame, I guess. That is playing it safe. I personally think two minutes is a bit much, but we've had that discussion many, many times. Great defense here by Rainer. Excellent green movement. Great spore crawler block as well. Nikodok not getting very fortunate. Can he get a couple nice Hellion shots here? We don't need much, but we do need something. I mean, that's pretty perfect by Reyna, guys. Sure, he lost the links, but that's kind of what the early game links are for. Killed six Hellions and a Reaper. A little bit of lost mining time, but obviously Reyna is going to be happy with that. Reyna showed us last week that his ZVT is excellent at the moment. A 3-0 victory in the Grand Finals over Clem. If you can 3-0 Clem, you're probably going to be the favorite against every single Terran that you could play on the planet. And that includes the GOAT, according to Team Liquid. If you 3-0 Clem, guys, you're the favorite over Maru too. And I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I'll buy you a whiskey if you come to the Austin area. That's literally where I will be. Apparently a Spanish GOAT lives somewhere near downtown Austin, so... Some six streets. Well, we can, if there is, a, if there are a bunch of stalker people that want to hang out, we can absolutely uh, organize a uh, evening out. Like I'll have four or five days by myself. I want to play poker for some of them, and the other days just want to socialize, have a good time. There will be whiskeys. There will be beer. Hopefully, there will be guns. In safe environments, obviously. Yes, I am coming to Austin, guys. I'm not actually staying in Dallas. I'm going to stay at a Spanish goat's place. And he lives in Austin. So I just need to figure out if I'm going to fly into Austin. Or if I just fly to Dallas and then take a bus or whatever. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Maybe I'll even rent a car. For a little trip. Why don't top Terrans like Clem and Maru make a Raven against Zerks? The main reason is because they don't have a tech lap on their starport. And it may seem easy to do that, but it's not that easy to do it. Couple of slow bailings are connecting here. Nikarakt is not paying attention. This is one of these things where it looks like Nikarakt is now making mistakes, but he's making mistakes because he's playing against somebody who's just in all the right places. And that guy being Rainer. If he plays against the lesser Zerk, slow bailings won't connect like that. This is because Rainer has done such a good job in everything else. Nikodok making sure that his macro is sharp, that he gets some value out of the Banshees. Because of that he paid not enough attention. I think Nikodok has the skills to make Rainer sweat a little and make it an uncomfortable game for him. But for that to happen, Nikodok needs a good start. And unfortunately, 8 minutes into this game, the man did not have a good start. 
And if you are the underdog in a TVZ against Raynor and you don't have a good start, well, then life becomes incredibly difficult. Yeah, the main reason for no Raven is because there's no tech lap on the starport. And you just don't have money at first to casually drop a starport and connect it with a tech lap. You need Medivex, maybe need some Liberators. More Banelings connecting. Poor Nikoduct. Rough game. This is one of these games where he just doesn't look that good. But we just saw him against Arrow Fire, and you guys hopefully now know that he is good. Even Combat Shield, by the way, feels very late. It's a bit later than I think it should be. I don't think that's where it went wrong. Kaji! We missed you, Kaji. We missed you for our first race of the season. Thank you, matey, for the 103 months. Very long time. I know Austin is fun, guys. I've been to Austin a couple times. We used to have Dreamhack Austin. I think Austin is an awesome city. People are nice. Great bars, great restaurants. Texas is just cool. I love San Antonio as well, but I will not be visiting San Antonio. Somebody is lagging this game a little. I'm gonna assume that it's Kabi Rage. I don't think it's me. My ping is... 6. Woo! High ping today, guys. Why do I have 6 ping? 6 or 7? What's happening to my internet? I'm in Kabi Rage. Or maybe it's Nikarok. I don't know. Nikarok is close to maxing out, but he is going to max out with a very tiny bank. Meanwhile, Raynor has covered... 60-70% of this map in creep at minute 10. Adreno glands on the way. Hive tech Zerg. Vipers have energy. This is a, a little bit of a massacre. Even if both players are close to maxing out. I hope for Nikodak that he can take one great fight on the edge of creep or off creep. So he can get some momentum here. But just kind of don't think that's possible. There are so many banelings. Rainer is hitting a little bit of an anti-timing. Because it's all right before plus two melee. Plus two carapace. Right before Adreno glands. But he still blows up the center base and he gets a bunch of the tanks. That probably would have gone a lot better if Rainer would have waited like 12 more seconds. But Rainer is in a good enough spot that this is not going to make the difference. Okay, KJ. The 1-1-1. One, one, one. That means you can make a wish, KJ. I'll make a wish for you. Send your Protoss to an offline event. Please. Thank you, mate, for the 111 months. That's awesome. Mm hmm If you have a boss, yeah, I, I haven't really done much research yet, guys. But I am not a super adventurous traveler, but I am not worried about finding my way from Dallas to Austin or from Austin to Dallas. Like, this doesn't seem like it's going to be rocket science. I'm not worried about that. Same state. Should be okay. A couple of blinding clouds will land on the PF and on the tank. So the tank is not firing, the PF is not firing. Do we have Burrow, Reina? No, we don't have Burrow. Shame. Why does he never give us what we want? Huh? Skip San Antonio. Why are you hating, mate? San Antonio is awesome. No need to hate. Beautiful city. The main reason I'm going, though, is to visit uh, the large poker club. It's something I've always wanted to do. Now I've got a free opportunity to do that. Hopefully we'll run good. If we won't run good, we'll still play good, and it's going to be okay. And hanging out with a Spanish goat is going to be very fun. Too. And maybe I'll meet some of you lovely nerds. Just join the, join the Discord. If you guys are down to uh, spend some time in Austin, I will definitely, by the time that that event is around, it's going to take a little while. Talk to you guys about it and make it doable. Banelings crashing into the planetary. Oof. Barely enough. I wonder what would have happened if those SCVs guys that were still mining gas, if those would have been repairing the PF, then maybe it would have survived. Would that have made a very big difference? No. I mean, Nicarak is slowly transitioning into some ghosts. He's got 10 Medivacs, 10 tanks, 31 Marines. If we had a bunch of Liberators with Advanced Ballistics and then we're going into Ghost, I'd be like, you know, tiny chance. The Terran is not dead yet. And he's making his first lips now, right when I was talking about it. I think just a few too many things have gone right for Raynor. 
Kudos to Nicarag though for being a warrior. Even if the early game wasn't that pretty, he really is doing his best trying to make something out of this. Watching Reyna gives me motion sickness. He is very quick. A very quick video gamer. Uh, that matter of fact, barely surviving. What's our ghost gun now? Early we were at zero, we're at four, we have three more on the way. Now there is creep covering the center base. The Vipers are gonna show up one more time. Insanely good blinding class, guys. That's like minus seven tanks. And if seven tanks at once do not fire, that will open the doors for these banelings to connect with Marines, Skulls, Marauders. Somehow this tank survives with four HP. Reyna could have split off a link there and Hydra and killed it, but he didn't. Washed up is what one would say. I kind of hope that we have the same finals as last week. Because last week, obviously, I think we had a bit of a surprising outcome. Raynor 3-0 on Clem. I did not expect that. A lot of you guys did not expect that. Raynor was fired up because we gave him the handicap prediction against him. He felt disrespected and he wanted to show us that we were wrong. I'd love to see the rematch between Raynor and Clem if we get there. No, there is no uh, exclamation mark secret. It's still the same, but soon PM. Low HP command center is going to land, is going to take damage. Couple of abducts, more Bane links crashing into bio units. Nikorak having a very good deep tank line though, and actually saves a couple of these Marines Marauders. <laughs> if absorbing damage was a skill, Nikorak is 10 out of 10. He's giving me some Cheeto Vera vibes over here. Rainer is Sugar Sean O'Malley. Nicarak is Cheeto Vera. And he's like, uh, 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 staying alive. He's like, alright, how much time do I have left? Can I still win the belt? There's always a chance. <laughs> but it's not gonna be any easier. SCV count is actually still kinda decent. 72. Must have lost a decent amount, right? 36. Rainer only lost two drones. 400 links, 133 bane links. And two drones have gone down. Yeah, no, Nicarak is actually playing good considering the fact that he had a bad start. I thought he would get Omega steamrolled with the start that he had. And I do think he is just getting bopped. But the fact that he's making it hard for Reyna to kill him and that he doesn't just roll over and die, I still think is impressive. It's not his game. Reyna obviously has basically the entire map is rich. It will always stay rich. Has 94 drones too. Like it's important to keep in mind that Reyna's drone count is very high, and that means that Nikarak has a bigger army. Uh, even right now, Nikarak has a bigger army. And he's nowhere near being maxed out, so that makes it a bit harder as well for Reyna to just end the game. Obviously, the Italian story, and is not worried with how this is going. He knows that all he needs to do is just keep on trading, keep on killing SCVs, command centers, planetaries, a couple of the ghosts, the marauders, and he's going to be okay. Am I planning on doing anything fun in Dallas? In Dallas particularly, I don't know, because I've never been in Dallas. I have no idea what to expect from Dallas. I... I mean, if I'm speculating, and you guys can just shout at me if I'm terribly wrong, I have the feeling that Dallas is going to be a little bit similar to Atlanta, where it's just kind of like a concrete jungle <laughs> without a whole lot uh, else to do. But I'm sure it's going to be fun because all the StarCraft people are going to be in town. So whenever all the StarCraft nerds are there, we always have a good time, right? Whether it's players, casters, community members, just fans, I'm not worried about any city. You get all those nerds in the same place, we'll have a good time anywhere. You think Rainer is on a mission? The boy seems focused. I also think that Clem is out for a revenge, so it's gonna be fun. Nikarak is such a warrior, man. I think at this point, Rainer probably had a bit enough of Heartlet, where he's like, alright, it's been an 18 minute game. Can I please get this Russian Terran out of my video game? We have basically everything at this point. We got Broodlords, 3 3, Ling, Bane, Andrino Glance. Infestus, Vipers, Ghost Count is at 13. I think that's the highest Ghost Count we've had. I think Rainer is looking to just finish this once and for all. Nice fungal from the low ground. Back to back great fungals. Broodlords are not as good as they once upon a time were, but 
If all the goals get fungled, it should still be good. The Bane train is here one more time to deliver some pain, and another planetary gets blown up. I feel like the rest over army of Nikorok is not very good against Bloodloids, and that will do it. After domination for 18 minutes and 33 seconds, it is Raynor who takes the 1-0 lead. Kudos to Nikorok, though. Bad start, still hang in there like a trooper. I feel like uh, it is impressive to make it such a game when very little has gone your way in the early game. The 8 Hellions and Reaper barely did anything. First two Manifacts with Marines got cleaned up in the bottom left side by slow Veilings. The Cloak Banshees were not too impressive either because obviously Banshees shine more when other things go well. So for Nikorok to still kind of make Raiden work for it that hard, yeah, I think it's impressive. Even if he didn't win, I think that is a performance that I can live with. Woo! Look who's there! It's exalted! <laughs> it is exalted. <laughs> Dallas is a little nicer than Atlanta. It's not that I don't like Atlanta, by the way. I'm not trying to shit talk it. It's just like whenever you walk around, there's just so much concrete. <laughs> a lot of the buildings look a bit similar. A lot of parking garages. I was surprised with how uh, quiet it was, like in the business district downtown where we were. It's close to the Falcon Stadium. The, the roads were so empty compared to a European city. Like any European city is always overly freaking busy. And there's way too many cars. And you think America, everybody drives a car. Well, not in that part of Atlanta. And it's not that I didn't have a good time or I didn't like it. It's just it didn't really feel very lively, you know. It's just kind of there. Big city, big buildings. All right, let's roll with it. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm expecting from Dallas. Too. Round two. Fight. Here we go. Bottom left side of El Sioni. We are looking at the main base of the man that's representing the Platinum Heroes. This is Nikarak, the underdog here in the round of 16. But I've said it a couple times. I still like this performance there. Sure, he got bopped, but he got bopped in style and with dignity. Top right side, his mechanics look sharp. He looks quick as ever. This is Basilisk Rainer. For some of the people that watch my stream and don't really visit the interwebs or keep track of players, their socials, Rain has got very serious plans on attending the next season of GSL. He has been putting in a serious amount of work already to make that happen. For a while he was going to try to do it with a lot of other Europeans and I think some American players too. Unfortunately, the GSL season or those qualifiers are overlapping with the same agenda as Europe or as ESL runs for the Europe regionals and the American regionals and the prize money for those online regionals you guys may think ah oh, just a small online tournament no the prize money of the regional tournaments is very big it's like as big as the offline event in uh, Dallas and obviously that's way bigger than what GSL is so a lot of the other guys they kind of tapped out and they said like well it's not worth being in Korea and playing a much bigger tournament with way more money online with a very high ping when I can just be at home and compete for that money at the comfort of my usual setup and have low ping but I think Rainer is still very set on the idea of trying to compete in the GSL one more time it's not about prize money it's about honor it's about prestige and glory so I think Rainer will go he's describing literally every American city I mean I don't think that's true because I've been to a lot of American cities mate Vegas is madness. LA is madness. San Francisco, I think, is madness. Uh, San Antonio is very different than those two cities that I described. New York, fucking madness. Boston, very busy too. So no, I do not think that my experience in Atlanta is comparable to a lot of other American cities. Seattle also was very busy. Mm -hmm. Three years of sub, but watching you often since 2013. Awesome, mate. Thank you so much, Lisak, for the 36 months. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you've been around for uh, such a long time. And you're still loving StarCraft. Nico Rockwell! You guys saw that? Like Vu in his glory painkiller days, baby. Yeah, our man Fatality had no answer for that. That's a sick block by Reyna, too. All right. Both players having their moment there. A perfect grenade for Nico Rock headshotting that drone midair. With a real gun. But then Rainer doing a very good job in putting the links on hold position. Making it impossible for the Reaper to get through. And then the Queen's got a few more shots off. 
Uh, Dallas is, I think, on the 29th of May till like this. No, that doesn't make any sense because May is long. Maybe it's like the 31st of May until the 2nd of June. DreamHack Dallas. If you just Google DreamHack Dallas, that's where the ESL Spring Championships for StarCraft will be held. And I will be there. Either as a caster or I will be there just to cover the Basilis boys. I do think I'll be invited to cast, but you never know. And I like to plan for multiple outcomes i'm not in charge of who gets invited to cast what event and i haven't heard anything about online or offline yet Nikolak is switching it up a little bit. It's not a mega quick uh, triple CC. He's going to go for Hellions and Banshees of two bases. So he's looking for damage. He's even going to build a few more uh, Barracks. Okay. Double E base. Well, he's going for a two base all in, guys. You don't see too many two base all ins in his matchup. But I'm starting to have the feeling that he just wants to go five racks. I mean, why double eBay then, though? Maybe not. Maybe he will still drop a command center. It's just going to be a bit later. First Cloak Banshee shows up a couple of seconds before the Spore Crawler is done. And that means that he gets a few drones. Not many, but a few. We lost a single Hellion, unfortunately, on the left side of the map. Uh, Nikarak, hello. Not a Hellion gets picked off. You can cast Hero Marine and Rain into your TV, but not Roddy. You should be able to, mate. <laughs> I've done my own stream to my TV many times. That's weird. Maybe just reboot your Twitch app, because it should work. I don't have a weird setting where you can do that. I know a lot of you guys put me on different monitors or TVs, and that's also a way that I love to watch StarCraft, so I would never want to disable that if there is even a way to do that. I don't think there is a way. Great surround there by Rainer. Surrounds all four Hellions very quick. And Nikodok, so far, guys, just not getting a whole lot done. Also, has still not built anything else. So we're just on triple barracks, double eBay. Two bays all in. Rainer is on 75 drones. But the thing is, I'm still not that worried. I do think that Rainer at this point is... Okay, th those Banshees finding some good damage now. I think Rainer needs to understand that... He doesn't really need more drones. And a sick Banshee positioning. Very well done by Nikarak. Gets nine drones. I don't think Reyna really needs any more workers though, guys. He's on 68 against a 44 SCV Terran. But like, why don't we have five Rex, guys? Can't you afford five Rexes? Or is he still going to expand now? I'm so confused. What's the plan here, Nikarak? If this was against Protoss, I'd say like, ah, oh, he's just going to pull the boys. Because he loves pulling the boys. Nikarak is going to sim forward. Baneling speed is finishing up. Rain has got 19 Banelings. And Rain is coming in from the top and bottom side at the same time. Can these Banelings connect with the Marines? It's starting to look like the answer is yes. And even if they don't, the tanks already got cleaned up. And that's a bit devastating for Nikarak. Because Nikarak needs these tanks to stay alive, guys. That's the whole game plan here. Because the man is a 2 base Terran. He's now dropping a third CC. 7 minutes and 43 seconds into the game. He's going to try to take this fight on the edge of three. He is stimming away from these veins. Good snipes there. Gets a couple, but every second that goes by, Raynor gets richer and richer. And Nikarok gets further and further behind. Seeking up one more tank in the center of the map. Very nice micro on at least a couple of these Marines, but I think he's just lost a few too many already. And Raynor has got a ridiculous amount of queens here too. Brings these queens back to creep. Take notes, Mr. Sion. Sion. Could have been you. Could have been the hero of the day. <laughs> uh. 
Thanks, stealing a bit of friendly fire. I would not be upset if Nikorok leaves, and Nikorok is going to leave. Like, yes, he was building a 30cc here finally, but the man is down at 44 SCVs. Reyna has 69 drones, is holding on four bases. Reyna is still just a little bit too good for Nikorok, but there is no shame in that. Reyna is one of the very best players on this planet. Some would even say that he is an all-time great. Not Miesenhauer, though, but some people would say he is. So there is no shame in getting bought by Rainer. I think Nikorok still looked damn good today. Maybe I'll reward him with an invite to the Basilisk Big Brain Bouts. He wants to play every single week. It's been a little while. I feel like with the performance he had today, he kind of deserves it, right? Little opportunity on the Friday night. That means that your man Ruddy is going to go ahead and take a little break. And after that, he'll be back with Christianer. Mm, we don't know. 